So I've been growing a lot of veg this year at a community plot, and I'm going to take advantage of some of the beautiful veg that has come through, specifically these zucchinis and these beautiful zucchini flowers, or courgettes, as we call them back in England. Now, these are all edible and absolutely delicious. What we're going to do is we're going to stuff one of these with a prawn pea mousse. Maybe some herbs will show you what they're going to be. Then we're going to tempura that, and then we're going to serve that with a lovely red pepper sauce. So stay tuned. I'm going to show you how to do it and a few little tips and tricks. This one is gonna be fun. Right, let's go. So let's start by blitzing up 200 grams of shrimp. These have already been peeled and deveined. Put them in your food processor, give it about a minute or two and scrape the sides down every now and again, just like this. Don't get caught on the blade there. And then we're gonna add in one egg white while the motor's running. Let it go for another minute. Then we're gonna add in whatever herbs you want. I'm adding tarragon, about a tablespoon and about three quarters of the zest of this lemon. Plus a very generous seasoning of salt and pepper. And then we're going to blitz this up again and we're going to pour in about 200 mils of whipping cream. Now be careful, don't overwork your mousse otherwise it will split if you let it go on too long because the heat from the food processor is basically going to start to cook it. Uh, normally what you do at this stage is you pass this through a sieve to get like an extra fine mousse but I want a bit of texture in this from the herbs so I'm not going to do that step. And then we're just going to scoop that out and put it into a bowl lined with ice. Put in a little sprinkle of some chili and then about 60 grams of frozen peas. I fold that in and then we're going to cover this and put this in the fridge for about an hour and then we're going to put it in a piping bag. Now we're going to finally slice one red pepper for our sauce. The best way to do that is just like this. Slice down all four sides and then the end and then just go around the top. That way you get all of the pepper and none of the seeds just like that. Finally slice this along with one clove of garlic and a shallot. You don't have to go ultra fine but it helps when you're sweating this down. Heat up a good glug of olive oil in your pan and then we're going to add in the shallots, sweat this down for a minute and then we're going to add in fresh thyme, about a couple of sprigs. Easiest way to do this, grab the top like this, use your fingers and just pull it down and you will get all of the leaves off in one. Okay, sweat this down for another 30 seconds and then we're going to add in a pinch of cumin seed, a pinch of coriander seed and then we're going to sweat that down again for another 30 seconds and go in with the peppers. At this stage, give them a good seasoning with a lovely bit of salt and pepper. Mix this round again, and then we're going to add in a lovely glass of white wine of your choice. I think this was a lovely Sauvignon Blanc. Use whatever you have. You're going to cook off the alcohol now until it goes syrupy. That looks good to me. And then we're going to go in with a little dash of smoked paprika. Cook that through again for about 10, 20 seconds and half a cup of water. This is just going to help soften up the peppers. We're going to cook this out until all the liquid is pretty much evaporated and then we're going to put them in the blitzer to give them a nice good going over. Pass it through a sieve and there you have a lovely easy red pepper sauce that you can use pretty much with everything. Cover that and put that in the fridge. Now let's put our mousse into a piping bag. If you do not have a piping bag you can use a Ziploc bag no problem. Just cover the end like this and clip up the end so it doesn't go everywhere. Now we're going to prep our zucchini flowers. You're going to peel off the green leaves like this. Gently open up the flower. Do not rip the leaves here. And we're going to take out this middle part, which is called the stamen. This contains all the pollen in there. So the easiest way to grab this out is get a pair of tweezers, go in, gently grab it, give it a little twist. You'll hear a little snap and it will come right out just like that. Lovely, lovely. Now some of these are different. Some are a bit bigger, some are smaller, depending if they're a male or a female, as you can see. Plenty, plenty stamen in that one. So same process, just grab it and you can pull it out just like that. Once you've gone through and taken all the stamens out from all of them, just put them in a bowl of water like this just to wash them off. And if there's any leaves you've left on like these, you can just peel them off and put them to a side. Once you've washed them all off, drain them on some kitchen paper just to dry. And we're going to do a little optional step here, which is just to scrape down the ends and give them a nice little trim for a bit of presentation. You don't have to do this, but, you know, might as well fancy it up a bit. And then get the tip of your knife and just pierce and stab some of the zucchinis. This will help them cook when they are frying. And now we're just going to stuff the zucchinis. This is pretty straightforward. You're just going to go in with your piping bag or Ziploc bag, half fill them. Do not go over the top, otherwise they're just going to pop. Push it down and squeeze it round just like that. So you're kind of pinching and rolling and resealing the flour. Super, super easy. Go round and repeat the process. Just fill them up like that, not too full, just under halfway. Twist, squeeze and push down as you're going. And that's it. That's all you got to do with all of them. Once you've done that, put them aside on your tray and set them in the fridge until we make our tempura batter. This also helps the mousse just set up a little bit as well. Now we're going to put in a cup or 100 grams of flour, all purpose. Sift that through into a bowl, add a nice pinch of salt, and then we're going to go in with 35 grams of cornstarch 
and about half a teaspoon of baking soda. Give that a little whiskey whiskey with some chopsticks, set that aside, and then we're gonna have one egg, and we're gonna whisk that up, and in there we're gonna put about 230 to 260 mils of cold, fizzy, carbonated water. Very important that everything is cold for this tempura batter to work. Add that egg mixture to this, and if you think you need more water like I do here, just add a little bit more in. Lumps are okay, but you want the kind of consistency of like pouring single cream, just like that. As you can see, it's got a lovely dropping consistency. It's not too thick, it's kind of thin with some lumps. Put a few ice cubes in there and then just set this aside until we get ready to get our frying station ready. Heat your frying oil to 180C or 356 Fahrenheit halfway up to the pot that you're gonna put it in. Take one of the flowers, really dredge it into your tempura mixture and then just gently drape it back and forth like this and then drip over some excess just like that straight away. You can do two at a time, don't do too many, it will lower the temperature. Using excess batter like this and dripping it over when it's in the fryer, that's the secret to get more crispy bits and really nice and crispy tempura. Give it a little flip over, baste it with a bit of oil, scoop up all those bits, do not throw them out, we're going to use them in garnish and you can just use them in other bowls whenever you're making anything. Work your way through the rest of the flowers, taking them out and putting them onto a rack so that all the oil drains out and they go crispy. With the ones that are attached to a zucchini like this, you're going to dredge them in for a little bit longer. So you're literally just gonna hold it in the oil, go back and forth, make sure you don't burn yourself, drape it back and forth, let it set, then drop the rest of the zucchini flour in and sprinkle over some more of that lovely batter. Scoop out all those lovely crispy bits, baste the other side like this, and then pick this out and you have cooked all your zucchini flowers. And while they're hot, just sprinkle them with some lovely molden salt. Now we're just going to plate this up, put some of your red pepper sauce down first. You can make a lovely little sawoosh like this if you want to chef up. And then just delicately plate your zucchinis. It's good to work from like a center point like this and just build around it towards the outside of the plate. Gives you very nice plating indeed. Then don't forget those crispy bits. Add a few of those scattered around the plate and you have a beautiful dish that you can have as a snack, a starter or even a main. So there we have it friends, lovely stuffed zucchini with the prawn pea tarragon mousse, little chili, little lemon. These look amazing, can't wait to dig in. Let's get into them. Mm. So crispy. You see the mousse there with the peas inside. Absolutely lovely, dipped in with some of this. Give zucchini flowers a go. They're super easy. If you don't want to do a mousse, you can do cream cheese, you can do risotto, any kind of filling you can put in there. Super, super versatile. See you in the next one.